Hello and welcome to Two Minute Design. I'm Dej and what is a layer? Uh, Dej? Dej? Uh, oh, oh, sorry. So, layers. Let's say you have a stack of photos or things. When you put them on top of each other, the top layer usually covers the layer below. If you move this top layer, you'll be seeing more and more of the layer below. Now the layer on top could be either smaller or larger than the layer below. In this case, if you cut out some parts of the layer on top, you will be revealing the layer below. Also, layers could be totally opaque or transparent. Now let's see how Photoshop handles layers. The layers panel allows you to make countless changes to your Photoshop layers. As you can see, since I just created a new document, I only have one single white layer called background. To create a layer on top, just click this button here. See how a new layer is created here on top? It's called layer one, but I wanna call it black. Double click on its name and change it to black. By looking at the thumbnail here, I can understand that this layer is completely transparent. I need to add some color in order to see it. But before doing anything, I need to make sure that this layer is activated. How do I do that? Well, if I look at the layers panel, I see that the newly created layer is highlighted, which means that everything I do now will affect this layer only. If I want to affect the background, I need to click on it once so that it becomes activated. So let's activate the top layer for now and then go to edit, fill. Open the contents drop down menu and then select black. Hit OK. And now we have a black layer sitting on top of a white background. Now I can't see the background layer unless I move, transform, cut, or change the transparency of the layer on top. By the way, you can also delete this layer by clicking this trash icon over here and you can add as many layers as your system can handle. Just click this button, add a new layer, and you can see how these layers are being added in the layers panel. 